Hello, people of the internet, and welcome to Sim Racing Live. In today's video, we'll show you how to set up triple screens correctly in American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator 2 to take you from this to this. Right, let me show you what a typical unmodified triple screen experience looks like, which is the same effect as you get from any racing sim with just one field of view. You'll notice that the image stretches considerably on the left and right screens. And now, let me show you how it looks when our config file has been modified. Now, I realise that the left and right screens now look out, but this is because we're viewing the whole image on a 2D plane. But what's important to see here is the left and right screens now do not stretch the image at all. Now in this shot, I've tried to distort the left and right screens to give it perspective. We'll add in our driver, and now, from his perspective, the image will appear correct if his eyes are level with the centre of his monitor. Let me show you what I mean with this pen and paper. Now, we'll draw a straight line. We'll fold the paper to give us some perspective of our angled screens. Right, we'll stand this up. Okay, so now the paper is at eye level. The line appears straight, but look what happens when we move the camera above or below the center. You'll see the left and right lines either raise or lower. I've done this to emphasize how important it is that your eyes need to be at level with the center of the screens to get the best experience. Let's move on to what you need to do. So first of all, open up File Explorer and navigate to your Documents folder and open it. Now navigate to your American Truck Simulator or Euro Truck Simulator 2 directory and open that. If we look down in either games, we'll find a file called config. Open this up in Notepad. Right, in our newly opened window, scroll down until you see you set R underscore multimon mode and what you have to do is change the set value from 0 to 2 and that's it. You will also need to alter these two figures on both multimon board of field of view right and field of view left to correct your own monitor bezels and that's it. Now save the file and boot up the game. Please note though that you're not able to specify the angles of your left and right monitor, so you will need to do this manually to a 45 degree angle. And finally, SCS has their own page showing more detailed information on this subject, to which I'll provide a link in the description below. So, that about wraps up this guide. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate, drop them in the box below and I'll do my best to answer. That just leaves me to say thanks very much for watching please consider subscribing to the channel and maybe hit that like or dislike button and leave a comment in the box below. And until the next video, thanks very much for watching and goodbye.